Meg, Blake. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Yeah, yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Oh, I'm so excited. Joseph, what are we drinking here? <laughs> Sorry. That was so natural. That was so good. That was so good. Good job. I'm so happy you actually you asked because we are drinking my espresso blend. It's an Evelyn's espresso named after my oldest daughter. Business is actually named after my middle daughter. So, and it's Evelyn's espresso, aka the older sister blend. Oh, that's, that's cute. Awesome. Yeah, it's delicious. So, how do you guys like to drink your coffee typically? <laughs> you go. I am not, to to be honest, a huge coffee drinker. When I drink coffee, it's it's just black though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you like it. I like it. Yeah. But I, I just don't, I don't need it in the morning, you know. Okay. Yeah, I am the one that, like first thing I in the morning I'm making it. Um, I usually make a pour over. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, and... um, What type of pour over do you use? Do you even know? A Chemex? Is that how you say it? Yeah, Chemex. Yeah, 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 so that's what I use Looks like a science experiment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So I use that at home, and I usually use, like, a local... We're we're from Michigan, so I just get, like, a local blend around there. Um, But I'll have to get some of these to take back home. But, yeah, I usually like it with just cream in it. Just Yeah. yeah, That's how I drink my coffee. Yeah. Typically, I prefer iced... But mm-hmm. lately, I don't know, I've been having it more hot, so, yeah. Just well, fantastic. Me. Yeah. So, you guys are married. Yep. Holding hands. Beautiful. <laughs> and But not just one of you is a musician, both of you are musicians, mm-hmm. and you create music together. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about that process of how you create music together. Like, like, tell, like I don't know, like, beginning to end, middle, how do you guys create music together? Okay. I think usually... I, I produce a lot of music, and okay. so usually I will, like, sit down and start with a piano, generally. Okay. Uh, just going through stuff and, and really build that out, add, adding drums and bass and, and whatever. And if I feel something with it, you know, then I'll t- maybe start writing. Um, and sometimes what's happened a lot in the past is Megan's at work, and I will build the track out as much as I can. Um, and then when she gets home, I kind of do this, you know, show and tell thing. And then she'll she always was... say, like, I made a little something today. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And so then I, I'm like, oh, let's hear it. And I'm expecting it to be like him just like playing a couple chords. And it's like a completely finished song. He did start to finish. It's all written and everything's done. So like the song or the, like the lyrics too, or just like the Everything. whole thing? Yeah. Like he just... Kind so of you, you come home and, and he's like, hey, babe, or like, hey, yeah. Meg, whatever name, like, hey, Meg, like, so I kind of yeah. did something today. Yeah. And you're like, um, what did you do? Right. Yeah. And I'm always just blown away. I'm, I just sit there like, it's just so good. Yeah. So really do you like, so is it mostly like Blake, you're leading the charge on the, like leading charge. That sounds weird, but like, you've kind of like, you've been at home, you kind of created something you're sharing with Meg. What like what happens there? Yeah, I think it's usually always music first. So that's that's where I'm usually the one making the music. There there have been times where Megan like gets on the piano or gets on the guitar and then starts a song there. For the most part, though, I am starting with the music, um, and then I might have some lyric ideas, but no melody, and that's where Megan really steps in and okay. and she's. That is her, her, uh, what's the word? Forte. Her forte, yeah. exactly. Your strength. That's yeah. where I shine. She, yeah. yeah. Very good uh, singer and coming up with melodies and everything and writing as well. And so sometimes I w- I'll have the music but no uh, lyrics or anything and Megan will come in and, I mean, do the same thing and write write the whole song right then and there. So, um, and so Megan, you, you hear this, like, song that he created. Mm-hmm. Do you, like, do you, like, just, like, does it wash over you and, like, you, like, words start coming to you? Like, tell me about that. Kind of. I usually, so, we are in a very healthy marriage, but we write a lot of really sad, like, very depressing breakup songs. Okay. And, yeah, yeah and usually people are like, are you guys, 
is everything okay between the two of you? And we're like, oh, we're so happy, like, at home. <laughs> but, like, we're just really good at writing sad songs. And I think we typically play on, like, we do sometimes kind of think back to, like, our previous relationships mm-hmm. and, like, maybe our hardships that we had there. Um, or just kind of thinking, like, what would be relatable to people and what is something that a lot of people go through. Mm-hmm. Um, because... I don't know. Everybody kind of goes through the same things a lot of times. So just kind of touching on those and making sure that somebody would listen to it and feel seen and like understood by the song. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, usually I like to rhyme a lot, like just rhyme after rhyme after rhyme. And so I usually will go into like, I just kind of come up with one line that I think flows really well and then just kind of play off of that. And sometimes it does come very easily and sometimes there's no... There's nothing, so it's kind of playing off of it whenever it strikes, I guess. So, like, it's, so I guess my follow-up question with this is kind of, a, um, I've heard so much about like music coming from like a personal experience and stuff. It seems it's not directly personal, or like maybe personal, but in the past, is there like a catharsis that's like attached to this, or is it more about try, trying to create something that you that you feel is beautiful and relatable? Does that question make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's it's fun. Since we're not necessarily in those situations, it's fun to be able to go into a song and really build out, like, a story. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And, and think, and, and putting yourself in that person's shoes and, and saying, how, uh, how do I feel? How do they feel right now? Like, how would they feel in this situation? Yeah. Um, and, and going from there. We kind of build, like, a persona of, like, this is a girl, and she's upset because X, Y, Z happened. Um, we met really young. We were 18 when okay. we met. And wow. so we'd only really, like, had a high, one high school relationship before, like, a serious one. And so we didn't really have the chance to, like, date around and kind of get that experience because we have really just only been together as adults. And so um, it's kind of fun to think about what it would be like to be someone that is going through different relationships, whereas because we were so young, we just, it was just good from the start, so, yeah. So, going back to this, uh, the word empathy, of, like, reaching into, like, that other person, and, like, maybe uh, you've created a person that, like, you're, like, um, you're, when you're trying to tell a story, mm-hmm. you're trying to enter into a story, mm-hmm. that empathy, um, like, how, like, What's the most important part of being empathetic when, in the storytelling and creating music? What's, mm-hmm. Is there a most important part, you think? Like, it's yeah. a good question. Yeah. I would say, I mean, I am a very, just naturally super empathetic person um, to a point where, like, if someone comes to me and they're crying because they're hurting, like, I'll cry right there with them. I just feel things really deeply. And even the last time we recorded a couple songs in the studio, Mason, the sound engineer, was having me, like, try to portray the raw emotion in the person singing it. And I actually ended up crying through the song, like, in the booth. And while I was singing, I was crying because I was like, this is just so intense. Like, I'm feeling it really deeply. Whereas we normally don't put ourselves that deeply into the shoes of the, like, character of the song, I guess. I think that is the most important part, though, like really digging deep and and trying to get to that spot that you're mm-hmm. trying to portray. Yeah. If if you don't do that, then it it might uh, not seem genuine or or be that emotional. I don't know. I think you can just say words and uh, without really getting in there. I don't know. You can say things multiple different ways, right? But yeah. if you're really feeling it, I think it can come across. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. You can tell when someone's really feeling it deeply. And so. Yeah. I'm very intrigued by this because I'm, I kind of want to go back to that beginning process where you're laying down like the musical aspect of it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, when you're laying down that musical aspect of it, like, do you have an idea of where like it's going? Is it going towards this heartbreak mentality, like emotion, or is it... Or is it more just like you're just you're feeling like this beauty in this music that you're putting down? Yeah, I think it's it's really um, heat of the moment. Okay. Yeah, like I'll I'll lay song. down a piano and I'm like, wow, that is like really emotional, really sad, and mm-hmm. 
from that I'll choose um, you know the drums that I want on it and and from right. there I'll choose if I want like strings in the background or bass or mm -hmm. different synths and right. so yeah. and from the writing like lyrically aspect usually whenever he shows me a track that he's kind of built out um, I usually vocalize out loud and kind of go over what I'm thinking and I usually say something like this sounds to me like someone who has been led on by someone for a while or has been yeah like I just kind of feeling what the music is saying in itself yeah. and then playing out, like letting the music lead what the song is about I guess I think it's so intri intriguing mm -hmm. um and I think it's so beautiful because there's like this the layering as aspect of it and you're like starting with something so raw yeah. and unencumbered and you're like building from that. Does that make does that sound yeah. about yeah. like for sure. that jiving with what you're talking about? Yeah, for sure. And somebody is completely illiterate when it comes to music. Like it's <laughs> like it speaks to me. I think that's really beautiful. Yeah. Like that's awesome. Thank you. Um and but you're gonna like you're sharing you're gonna be sharing two songs with us today, right? Like mm -hmm. can you tell me uh what these two songs are, where they're coming from, kind of like the, maybe a little bit of a background between the two of them? Sure, yeah. Yeah. I can talk about and if you want. Yeah. Yeah. So the first, uh, the first song that we're going to play is called I Guess This Is Goodbye. We recorded it last May. Uh-huh. Um, and it's our most popular song. And it was probably our first song yeah. ever. Uh, I have to back up here a little bit. So we, we released music under a different artist name okay. before Flynn. Mm -hmm. um, like singer-songwriter style. Yeah. Kind of okay. And yeah. so we were working towards this new sound of pop music and, and trying to have it be more fun and exciting. Um, and so I Guess This Is Goodbye is really the first song that really embodied that. And that yeah. we tried to... We try to keep replicating that in, into new songs. And so we'll be playing that for the first time today. I mean, I mean not for the first for time. For the first today. song. But, but for the first song I'm excited today. about it. And yeah. the second one? Yeah, the second one is called And. It's kind of a working title. So, okay. um, but it's, so is this like really new? Yeah, fresh? so we just, we just wrote it. We're going to the studio tonight to, to start recording Fantastic. Um, new songs. So yeah, it's And is kind of about... Basically, if you think about a sentence that is being said, and if someone just stopped after they said and, like there's more, mm -hmm. but it just ended there, that was kind of my, it's about how this this person, this character, essentially, and I was thinking about like me always being left on and, like someone, I'm just kind of always being hung out to dry or, and that's not how I feel in life in general, Yeah. just putting myself in those shoes, um, and just, it's kind of, yeah. I don't know, it's pretty raw and just about how kind of society has put these rules on this person and they just want to just be themselves and just so, figure it out. On their I own. love that. Um, I Like when you say this and I hear this, the first thing I think of uh, is uh, I really focus a lot on mental health. Yeah. And have you seen like a lot of people have the semicolon yes. tattoo? Yeah. That idea of the semicolon is like it's not finished. Right, mm. yes. Like that and, like there's still more to be done or to be said and yeah. like... I'm not done yet. Mm. Like, I don't know, do you know about the semicolon and like mental yeah. health awareness and what that's about? Yeah. yeah, my cousin actually has a semicolon tattoo. I think it's um, beautiful. Yeah, it is really cool. And it's interesting that you bring that up. A lot of our songs, I feel like, reference mental health in this new album coming out. That is it's very. That, I yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah, very raw emotion and like the feelings that you just, most people don't talk about. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels them at some point. But you just don't really know how to vocalize them or don't know who to talk to about it. It's kind of about, yeah, that. I love it's it. It's very raw. That's the fantastic. title of the album is actually Feel Something. So, oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that really embodies the entire album. Just Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited yeah. about hearing this, yeah. these songs Thank and you. like experiencing this. Yeah, yeah it's thank awesome. you. Thank you. Yeah, I I do want to ask you about. Oh your, yes, yeah. Your please shop. ask me anything. Yeah, how did you get into roasting and opening a shop? Oh, roasting coffee started for me as a hobby. Okay. I was actually I was in seminary. I was studying to be a Catholic priest, wow. and I was like I felt like I needed a hobby. I needed something to do. I always loved coffee, and it was at that point I discovered you could roast coffee at home. 
Mm. You can do yeah. it yourself. And uh, so I bought this home coffee roaster. Looks like a little toaster oven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, but it has a little basket in it, and I started roasting coffee. And to me, it was a it was a great hobby because it was a hobby that I could then share with others. Mm. It was something that it wasn't just like. A, going golfing or doing sports that it's all about me it was about like this hobby that then could be experienced and enjoyed by others right certainly a little bit like music creation like you sure. create something yeah. and it be shared to others and others can enjoy it right so that started many years ago and then fast forward um left seminary got married my wife and i were uh had two uh, two little girls at the time. We were expecting baby number three. Oh and we were like, oh my gosh, we need more money. Like, yeah. what are we going to do? Talking about, like, side hustles to do. And my wife suggested I start roasting coffee. Like, yeah. selling the coffee I was roasting. I was mm -hmm. like, honestly, I thought it was a crazy idea. I was right. like, no way. Like, because that was like a little thing that didn't make no sense. But I was like, you know what? Right. I'll look into it. Right. God, for me, opened all the right doors mm -hmm. to make wow. it where we could do it. Because, right. I mean, like, I didn't have money to throw into, like, being able to create this big business mm -hmm. so we started as a side hustle and people just really enjoyed what we were, i was roasting and just kind of grew from there wow. so it's always and so it started out just as like the love for the product coffee mm -hmm. and then sharing that with others and other wow. people just enjoying it that is so cool that is awesome. it's cool that your wife pushed you to do she, it yeah. yeah it was like yeah she like like she she's inspirational behind it yeah but like, you guys work together. Mm -hmm. My wife has, like, she just gets drinks to coffee. Right. And I'll ask her, what do you think of the coffee today? It's like, tastes like coffee. Yeah, <laughs> like, so, like yeah. so it's a, a different type of collaboration because okay. it was more about, like, the impetus to start it. But mm -hmm. ongoing, like, she, like, obviously she supports and, like, in, like, in the process and enjoys it. Right. But it's not, like, this ongoing, like, collaboration necessarily. Right. But outside of giving you an opportunity to continue to like grow the business yeah mm -hmm. and just being supportive yeah, yeah exactly that's awesome well thank wow. you guys so much yes. for being here thank you cheers. god bless you guys i can't thank wait to hear you. your songs yes. thank you cheers Thanks, cheers, cheers. We 
always dreaming out the window Only knew I had to take it slow But when I saw you, I went blind I gave you everything you'd ever need I love you more with every heartbeat Was I wrong to want the same thing, the same thing I guess this is goodbye Now you're done wasting my time I wish I would have seen the signs But I got twisted in your vines Yeah, so I guess this is goodbye Somebody else, and I don't know whatever happened. Don't remember the way that you felt. I can tell by the way that you're acting. I know you've been moving on. I thought that this would last forever. Now you're gone. I showed you love, I showed you everything I wonder where our hearts got off beat Now we're moving at two different speeds Two different speeds I guess this is goodbye I couldn't read between the lines Can't even look me in the eyes You just keep telling me your lies Yeah, so I guess this is goodbye now you were somebody else And I don't know whatever happened Don't remember the way that you felt I can tell by the way that you're acting I know you've been moving on I thought that this would last forever Now you're gone I thought that this would last forever Now you're gone it's Easy, man, you went too fast We fell in love, made me forget my past I never knew that I'd get so attached So I'm sorry that I'm calling you And now you're with somebody else And I don't know whatever happened Don't remember the way that you felt I can tell by the way that you're acting I know you've been moving on I thought that this would last forever Now you're gone now you're gone, now you're gone